Hello everyone. Let us discuss piezoelectric effect. First, let us discuss what is the direct and what is the inverse piezoelectric effect. We require a non-conducting sample such as a quartz crystal. Okay. So let's say we have two samples of quartz crystal. Then we have two choice. Okay. Either we can compress the sample by applying a lateral pressure. Now when we will apply a lateral pressure, okay, the sample will get compressed along x-axis and it will be expanding along y-axis. Okay. And by applying a tension, by applying a tension, we can stretch the sample along x-axis. At the same time, the sample will get compressed along y-axis. Now, if due to the application of lateral pressure, let's say the upper side is becoming positive and the lower side is becoming negative. And due to the application of a tension, let's say the upper side is becoming negative and the lower side is becoming positive. What we have noticed in both the cases, that one of the side is becoming positively charged and the other side is becoming negatively charged. That means due to the application of a lateral pressure or a tension, a potential difference is developed. But the potential difference developed in both the cases is of opposite polarity. Okay? This effect is known as a direct piezoelectric effect. Now the question is why the upper side is acquiring a positive charge and why the lower side is acquiring a positive charge. In both the cases, that is whether you apply a pressure or you apply a tension, the center of gravity of positive charge and the negative charge will displace from their original position. So in the first case, let's say the positive charge is getting shifted upward and the negative charge is getting shifted downward. Exactly reverse will happen in the second case. The CG, that is the center of gravity of negative will shift up and the center of gravity of the positive will go down. Okay, so what is the piezoelectric effect? Here, we are applying either a mechanical pressure or a tension and as a result, the potential difference is developed. This effect is known as a direct piezoelectric effect. So here, we are converting the mechanical energy in electrical energy. Now what is inverse piezoelectric effect? Exactly reverse will happen. Here mechanical was converted to electrical. Here electrical will be converted to mechanical. Now let's see how. Once again we require a non-conducting sample that is a quartz crystal. As you all can see that there are two lateral plates. Plate P1 and P2. Let's say the first case plate P1 is positively charged and the plate P2 is negatively charged. Whereas in the second case, plate P1 is negatively charged and the plate P2 is positively charged. Let's say in the first case, the sample is getting compressed along x-axis, okay, and it is getting elongated along y-axis. Whereas in the second case, the sample is getting expanded along x-axis and getting compressed along y-axis. So, now if we alternately keeps on changing the polarities of P1 and P2, the sample will either expand or will compress, expand and compress, expand and compress. Okay, so the sample is performing vertical oscillation. Okay, this effect is known as inverse piezoelectric effect. Okay, now the vibrations are the mechanical vibrations. And these mechanical vibrations are taking place due to the change in the polarities of the plates P1 and P2. This effect is known as inverse piezoelectric effect. So once again, in direct piezoelectric effect, we will convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. And in inverse piezoelectric effect, we will convert electrical energy to mechanical vibrational energy okay so this is direct and the inverse piezoelectric effect